Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about the Spring Boot Embedded Servers. Uh, by default, Spring Boot uses embedded, ser embedded Tomcat server to run the application. When you need to use Jetty or uh, Undertow servers in place of Tomcat server, Spring Boot provides uh, uh, Tomcat, Jetty and uh, under two dependencies under uh, bundle together as separate starters to help make this process as easy as possible. So what I am going to do, I am going to create a project from the scratch and right click over here and make sure that you have selected the spring uh, uh, perspective and go to the new and here you get the option a spring starter project. When you install STS in your Eclipse then you get this option or if you are using STS which is the upgraded upgraded uh, version of Eclipse itself uh, so you'll get this option so let's select this option and here um, I'm going to create a project name a spring boat embedded servers demo this is the project name I have given and package name I'm going to leave as com.info take.app and and here you can see I have selected uh, I'm giving everything default as it is and let's click on the next and here in this page what are the dependency required those dependency will have to select so uh, I'm going to select the wave because we are going to use embedded server as well as some servers we want to uh, configure uh, explicitly so that's why we require a wave component to be selected and that's it only wave component I have selected and uh, or you can search for the wave and here you got the wave Let's select this one and click on the next and again click on the finally finish now Eclipse is going to create project for us in this workspace and uh, uh, you see this project is created in our workspace uh, where is that project just we have created yeah here is this project and uh, Eclipse has downloaded all Maven dependency and that is added uh, in Maven dependencies project and here uh, we have a package in this package is Spring Boot has created a class is called a Spring Boot Embedded Server Demo Application and basically this class is considered as a bootstrap class in a Spring application. Uh, our application starts running from here, right? So here I'm going to create a class. This class you can create on the separate file, but here for simplicity, just I'm going to create on the same file where our bootstrap class is project. I would say my controller, my REST controller sorry rest controller and here in this this class I'm going to annotate as at the rate rest controller so this annotation represents that this class is served the purpose of rest restful controller so here we are going to write a very simple restful API which basically will return the hello message on the browser right so here mainly we are going to focus how to configure I mean uh, Jetty as well as uh, under to server uh, in a Spring Boot application so my Eclipse is a bit slow so I have already this class with at the rate rest controller I'm going to create a very simple restful API which will return a, a string and I would say the method name is welcome and this is going to return us a simple string let's say hello world okay and this method I'm going to annotate as at the rate get mapping so this will support for the HTTP get method and uh, this is the base URL I'm going to assign so and let's run this project and see what server by default a Spring Boot is going to use. 
and uh, uh, if you check the console then here you can see by default spring boot is using tomcat server and you can see the console tomcat is started on the port 8080 right and here i go to the browser and here i'll type http colon slash slash localhost 8080 and if i press enter then i'm getting the response as i'm getting the response as uh, hello world right you can see over here so and this response is coming from the RESTful API, right? Which we just we have created, right? So by default, I have shown you Tomcat is a uh, Spring Boot is using Tomcat uh, server, right? And uh, that server is running in the default port 8080. If you want to change the uh, port number, then here you can specify the property uh, server dot port, server dot port, and here you can assign the any value if you want this server to run in the some other like 9090 then now tomcat is going to run on the 9090 port right so if i kill the server and if i run this application again then tomcat is going to run on the 9090 port and apart from the lot of properties related to tomcat you can configure over here so one of the property i have shown you but now you can see 9090 so tomcat is running in the 9090 port now we will have to invoke the url 9090 and we are getting the response Great. Now, now thing is that if if somebody wants to configure a JT server in, instead of uh, Tomcat, then how you can do that? So in that case, you will have to update your pom.xml. So go to the, your pom.xml, and here what you will have to do, uh, you have a, a a Spring Boot starter web tag, right? Web dependency. So inside this, basically because of this module. Uh, Spring Boot has added uh, embedded Tomcat server. So here, the dependency starts and closing over here. Within this, you will have to use exclusion, exclusions tag. Inside the exclusions, uh, you will have a exclude tag, right? And what you want to exclude that you will have to use. So here, uh, you will have to use the group ID and uh, artifact ID, right? So as you do for the dependency and group id is all in most of the cases you will have arc.spring framework work dot boot and uh, to add and uh, to exclude a uh, tomcat server you will have to add a spring boot starter tomcat so in that way you are going to exclude this tomcat and uh, you will have to add a new dependency a dependency for the uh, jt server so you will have to add dependency and uh, dependency inside the dependency will have to write right uh, group tag group uh, id and artifact id right so and now here i am going to add a uh, group id most of the cases spring dot arc dot spring framework dot boot and uh, for jt you have a starter dependency is called a spring boot starter jt right that's it and now uh, you can see error has gone and uh, as we have chosen uh, a spring boot parent project 1.5.6 so if i run this project then i uh, will we'll get an error because uh, uh, if you go to the uh, spring boot official website then they have given the how to configure the jt and that just we have done right so in this fashion we have configured jt but uh, uh, a spring boot uh, latest version is 1.5.6 and here and this version only supports jt server 9.2 so 9.2 so we will have to specify the version in properties as well else you will get an error if you go to the spring initializer then previous uh, stable version is 1.4.7 if you uh, select uh, uh, i mean a spring boot uh, uh, version 1.4.7 then you don't need to specify the version but if you select this latest version then you need to specify this version in the properties tag so here is the property i'm going to add this so this is the latest jt version and after adding this let's run this project and see now jt is getting started or not right 
now you can see now saying that jetty has started on the ports 9090 right so now if i hit this base url uh, let's copy this and open in the new tab and here we are getting the response that means tomcat jetty server we have uh, configured successfully in pom.xml right now spring boot also supports for the uh, for one more server right one more in, uh, i mean embedded server and that server is called uh, undertow so if you go to the spring official website then they might have given some uh, description about the undertow as well so here configure undertow server right and if you want to configure undertow then it's easy to uh, configure undertow server as well so this is a web server like tomcat and jetty as well so what you will have to do uh, again you will have to exclude this tomcat from uh, web module so that this will be as it is and instead of jetty we want to use undertow so let's uh, let's comment this out so we don't want uh, jetty we want the undertow server we configure in our pom.xml so instead of jetty we will have to do undertow so this is the third server which is provided by the spring boot right undertow so we will have to write undertow a spring boot is not an undertow and rest of the things could be said sorry so undertow and let's kill the server and let's start again it i'm going to start it again and you'll see undertow server will be started on the port 9090 so let me keep open the console and here you can see undertow is started on the 9090 right and if we, i go over here and if i open the new tab and if i hit this base url then uh, we, we are getting this response from our application right that means under to server uh, we have configured as well right so if you want to know more details about uh, this embedded server then you will have to go to the spring boot website and there uh, they have given the all details which is required to configure a uh, tomcat jetty as well as under to server right there are many more details you can get it over here uh, how to change the port number and all they have given right if you go over here come down here everything they have given in detail right so how to configure access logging and all uh, how to uh, i mean proxy setup how we can do customized tomcast proxy configuration uh, right everything they have given in more details so i will request you to go and uh, go through this concept right and uh, it's very easy to understand basically and they have also given if you want to use i mean tomcat server 7 or 8 right so uh, by default uh, spring boot will use the tomcat 8 but in some scenario if you want to use tomcat 7 then you will have to configure in the properties tag you will have to specify the tomcat version and uh, tomcat dependency you can configure like this so artifact id you will have to give tomcat julie and tomcat version which we are just accessing from the property so tomcat 7 you can configure like this right if you are using instead of uh, if you are using gradle to uh, i mean building project then you can configure like this and uh, if you want to configure jetty server which just we have seen right so uh, i mean spring boot latest version supports only uh, jetty 9.2 so that we have seen how to configure and if you want to uh, use jetty 8 then of course you have provision to set those things else also so these all details you can get it over here so guys in this video tutorial we have seen how to uh, configure jetty as well as undertow uh, server uh, in a spring boot application and by default a spring boot uses tomcat server to run your application so i hope you enjoyed learning this video this code I am going to put on the GitHub and GitHub location. I will specify in the video description. This code is not, there is no so much complexity. Still, I am going to push on the GitHub and GitHub location. I will specify in the video description. So, thanks for watching this video and see you next.